Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and I'm going to be talking to you today about this little device called a thermoelectric cooler, also known as a Peltier cooler. These take direct current and convert it into hot and cold. Now the first time that I bought one of these, I was really excited to see, because they're supposed to get ice cold on one side and extremely hot on the other. I hooked it up to a battery, waited about 10 seconds, and uh, made the mistake of grabbing it. Without a heat sink, these turn into a ceramic iron, so don't do that when you get yours. What you want to do is attach it to a heat sink, because then what happens is the heat is pumped out of one side with the help of this heat sink, and the other side does get very, very cold. Now I'm going to be showing you how this works. These also have another interesting component to them in that they take, um, if you apply heat to one side and heat sink the other side, they create an electrical current that can be used to power some stuff. Now. One this size is not going to really do much. These can be hooked in series. Um, they can be hooked in parallel, just like a battery. The amount of heat that you put on determines the amount of voltage that you get. And it's a neat way of getting some power from either a campfire or a Fresnel lens or possibly heat from a car engine. With these, whatever side you put the heat sink on, the other side is going to get cold. But I found that they work a little bit better if you take, I have a 12 volt battery here. I also have a our bench unit. What you do is you take, um, the negative and the positive and you hold it for just real fast like maybe a half a second maybe a second and you're gonna notice one side's gonna get warm and the other side's gonna get hot now if you leave it on there the whole thing's gonna get hot so on this particular uh, one the side with the numbers on it actually gets a little cool so the heat sink would be best on the back side of this Next, we're gonna set it to 12 volt so we're going to set it right there. What I'm going to do is take this uh, heat sink paste. This stuff doesn't really dry, but you put it on and probably put a little too much on, but we're going to put the side without the numbers on the heat sink and let it get a nice contact. All right, I've had this hooked up for just a second, so it's a little bit warm, but what I'm going to do is get a temperature reading on this. And you can see that right now it's saying it's 92 degrees. And we're going to hook it up and you can watch the temperature drop. So you can see it went all the way down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to unhook it. You can watch the temperature go right back up. That's back to normal. As far as cooling goes, these are a pretty good option because they're very portable. You just bring a power supply with you and if you're camping, you can have a really cold source at your fingertips. They do consume quite a bit of power. Um, this one is 68 watts. They come in sizes all the way up to 500 watts, which are a lot bigger. Now, I did mention that these can create an electrical current. In future videos, I'm going to be hooking some of these up to the manifold of my car and see exactly how much uh, power we can get out of these. But I'm going to be showing you that right now. Just This is a... Um, a millivolt meter. It's very, very low voltage that we're going to be dealing with, so don't get too excited with what I show you. All right, for this test, what I did was I went ahead and cleaned this off. Now I'm going to flip this over and put the other side on the heat sink for this. I accidentally broke the wire off of this. They're really not that fragile, but for some reason I broke this one, and it's the only one I have, so you're going to have to bear with me on this test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the heat sink, and then I'm going to hook it up to this. Uh, this voltmeter right here, it's very, it's a millivoltmeter. We're going to hook it up. And then I'm going to show you how just the heat of my thumb can create a current. I'm going to take my hands and rub them together. Try to get my thumb a little bit warmer. See the voltage goes up higher. Now, if you take a heat source and apply it to it, you can see that the needle goes all the way over. 
and it's still actually creating a current right now. The heat difference. The needle's all the way to the other side. And then as this cools down, it starts to come back down. The same thing will happen if you put an ice cube on one side and just room temperature on the other. It'll actually uh, go all the way up. With this particular test, it is sensitive to which side you put it on. You can just switch the leads if you want, but this seems to work pretty good. I hope that gave you a basic understanding of these and how you can use them for different projects. We're going to be, again, hooking this up to uh, different areas. We're going to be using Fresnel lenses to heat them. Some guys have emailed me and they actually take several of these and hook them up to their stove in the winter time to charge some batteries. I don't know how effective that's going to be. They seem to get pretty good results from it. They have very large uh, uh, thermoelectric coolers and uh, they say it works pretty good. So we're going to be doing our own test soon. I've got a whole bunch of these coming and we're going to be linking them together different ways and seeing what we can do with them. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.